So today I'm going to show you how I set up my fitness pal to read net carbs. First you're going to go ahead and log in. I use my login usually with my Facebook page because it's kind of quicker for me. So we'll go ahead and log in. Once we're logged in, you're going to have to update your macros to read so that you can track your net carbs. So what I'm going to do is go to the home screen and then go to goals and then go ahead and edit your goals. So I will have my carbohydrates at 5%. I'm going to go ahead and update my fat to 25% and then I'm going to go ahead and update my protein to 70% and then I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. At this point you're going to also need to add a fiber column so that the script can read your net carbs. So what you're going to do is go to food. Let's take it a second here. And then you're going to go to your settings. And at this point, you're going to go ahead and add it. So you're going to change your settings here. So we'll go to your diary settings. And then you're going to have to go ahead and add a fiber at this point. Also, why I'm on the settings screen, I set mine up because I have a tendency not to want to eat right when it says breakfast, lunch, break, snacks. So I set my names up as time. So between 6 and 10 will be my first meal. My second is between 10 and 12, 1 and 4, and then 4 to 6. Between any time after 6, I try not to eat at between 6 and 10. If I do eat, it's usually like a light snack or a drink. But you can update these names to be just about anything you want. You can type morning, you can type breakfast, whatever you want. I just set mine up so that it looks at times. Um, it's just easier for me. And at this point, you're going to go ahead and hit save. If you want other people to see what your diary savings are, you're eating, you can make this public. I currently have mine private, um, and I do that because a lot of people were reading my diaries and then giving me negative feedback on it, so I just set it private to avoid all that. Um, and then save your changes. At this point, the way you're, you're going to have to get it to work I had Chrome, but I couldn't get the um, dialog to work for Chrome, so I downloaded Firefox. So you're going to go ahead and download Firefox, and I'll post the links to load the Firefox. Um, but you're going to go ahead and download Firefox. And once you're on Firefox, you're going to download Grease Monkey. And Grease Monkey is what we're going to use as an add-on so that you can configure your savings. And I'll give you all the links to this so that you can see how exactly it works as far as adding it on and the add-ons. Um, after you do the add-ons, you're going to go, it will automatically peer up that you're going to see net carbs. So for example, this is what, I kind of just did this really quick so you could see it, but this is what a day would look like for net carbs. Um, and then you just add your foods in, and like asparagus, and you can just add it, and it will automatically start tracking your net carbs. This only works for your computer screen. So you cannot see net carbs on the mobile app at this time because you can't add add-ons for my fitness pal on the mobile app but you still can scan all your foods and then look at your computer to see what your net carbs are 
to see what you're tracking. I Again, I will give you all the links to download Firefox. I'll give you the links to download your net carbs and your add-ons, and I'll give you a step-by-step -step kind of direction on how to do it. But this is how I have mine set up. I found the links off of online. I did go ahead and follow through with them. And again, like I said, I cannot get it to work with Chrome. So you do have to have Firefox in order to get it to work. Um, some of the other features that I do, I also have recipes set up. So anything like a pizza burger, I just added it in. And then all I have to do is log it in. So to add a recipe, I'm not sure if you know you can do this, but you can go to any website and just type in a recipe that you want. So we can just go look like we're going to look for a low carb recipe. Um, once we find a low carb recipe, we'll just get one. Let me just find one that's just recipes. Here. Low carb. And you can kind of go off any website. So if you want to look at a fish, fish one, um, we'll just pull one up here. Once you have the link, all you have to do is copy this link and go right over here to your recipe book. You can type it in or just paste it in there. It's going to import the recipe. And for example, let's say you are not going to add the grapeseed oil on it or the sea salt. So we'll just, you can just delete this item right off of here. And then it's going to match the category. So it's going to match these foods that you picked. So you just hit match and it should search them here. Oh, I got to pick a serving. So you always have, that's a key. You always need to make sure you have at least one serving on here. Um, and you usually go back to see what the serving size is on that recipe. So it said one, so we'll just put one here. It's going to match it. So it's going to tell me that it's 379 um, calories. So what I can do is go ahead and save this link and then log it to today. And I can just pick a meal. So I'll pick one to four and I'll just say I had one serving. Log it. And then you'll notice when it comes on here, it automatically calculates my net carbs for me. So I don't have to worry about manually calculating all my net carbs. Um, what I do do is plan all my meals through my fitness pal. So in the morning, I try to plan out my entire day of what I'm doing. Today, I didn't do that because I had a lot to do at work. So I just didn't get all that done yet today. Um, there's The database is huge. I have honestly never found. But let me show you one thing that does look weird when it comes to net carbs and it looks like this because the atkin bars are pretty healthy bars so when you go to search them um you're gonna see that there's going to, they're usually pretty good because they've got your dietary fibers and your sugars and protein. And there's a lot of protein in these bars. So I'm going to show you what happens when I add a bar to it. So I'll just add it right here. Bar. Let me show you. It's going to show, look, it makes you look like it's.
So I'm going to just add it to my diary and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And as you can see, a lot of t it just automatically calculates. The problem is when you scan these bars in, the scanning code off of the boxes does not work when it's calculating net carbs. So you really do, when it comes to the Atkin bars, you have to add them and not scan those bars. Because if I was to scan them, I can take you back a couple days where I learned that. Oops. Yeah, there's one. So when I scan in my bars, this is what it looks like. It's a negative food. And it's because it's showing me a negative calculation because of my net carbs. And it's basically taking that protein because it has so much protein in it that it's taking it away from my carbs. So it only has three carbs then I have the protein because what your net carbs is, is your carbs minus your protein gives you your net carbs. So in some of the bars, you're going to notice that it's a negative number and that's because there's more protein in that bar than there is carbs, which is a good thing because then that gives you a negative number. So I kind of call those my free bars. If I'm looking at, not all of them are going to be like this. Only some of the bars are going to be like this. So you just kind of have to watch what you're doing with it. Um, and again, the more you use it, you're going to technically love it. I, I think my fitness pal is the best tracking app out there. I also like the idea that you can link it to vitality and you get your points for tracking it. Um, I also have my Fitbit linked. So if you look at my exercise, it's linked to my Fitbit, so it automatically tracks it. So you can add your Fitbit. So Fitbit reads off of my Fitness Pal. So everything goes into this one diary, and then I don't have to manually add anything. And if I do do an exercise, I will add that exercise. So let me know if you have any questions. Again, I will give you all the links for the add-ons. To, and I'll go ahead and give you the step-by-step -step directions on how to add it so that you can see your net carbs and have fun with it. I Like I said, I like seeing what my net carbs are. Um, and again, you have to remember this is kind of at your own risk because you are using add-ons. So you're just creating. It's a written for the net carbs. Um, I've been using it a while and I've never had an issue with it. So it's kind of at your own risk. I did find the codes, got the codes working, and I have have no problem with them. But again, you have to do them through Firefox, the add-ons, because Chrome will not accept those add-ons. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm here for you. Thanks. Bye.